Hey everyone, so I've been getting a lot of questions about the Arduino turntable project. You know, where's it currently at? What are the plans for it in the future? So I wanted to give a quick update about uh, where I'm at. And this is gonna be a fast video, very little editing. Um, so let's see how clean we can make this. So last time we talked about this project, I mentioned that the old controller, which is right here, uh, had some limitations. So it used an Arduino Nano, it didn't have enough I.O. points, it didn't have enough memory, and the processing power was a little bit lacking for what we were trying to do. So this controller, while great for helping develop the code, was really at its limits. So I had to create something new. So as you can see here on the right, this is the new controller. It's a lot more ergonomic. Uh, I can actually hold it in one hand. Um, it's got an Arduino Mega in it, so processing power and memory are no longer an issue. We also have a lot more I.O. points, so I was able to add a clockwise and counterclockwise button, uh, as well as being able to change the speed with the switch, which is a lot more convenient than the dial. And as you can see, I added some lights here because I'm a fan of just adding lights. Um, and we also have a nicer keypad than the last version. As far as software goes, I've cleaned up a few bugs, um, and I added... Um, functions to my code to make it a lot easier to understand um, and a lot easier to work on, but that really won't impact many of you. Uh, and then other than that, it, it's still got the other same software as the previous version. Uh, the, con the base station, I don't know what I referred to as last time, but we'll call it the base station. It stayed the same. Um, and then the turntable is still the 3D printed turntable that I used in my last video. As you can see, I am not on my train layout because I recently moved and my train layout is in the basement and probably won't be taken out and assembled for years. <laughs> so um, a little bit of backstory on that. My wife and I are about to have our first child, very, very excited, uh, but I'm pretty sure my, my time spent in the shop and working on hobbies is going to be drastically reduced. So that's why I'm really pushing to get this project done. So, that's where we're currently at and what's changed since the last video. So I think I want to talk to you about next steps. So I really want to be able to get this software out for everyone ASAP. I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm tired of working on it. It's been on and off for years. I've learned a ton, but it, it's time to move on to a new project. So what I'm going to do is at a later date, should be soon. Um, at a later date, though, I'm going to create two versions of this code. One version is going to be free and one version is going to be paid for. The free version is going to be on like Arduino Project Hub or something like that. You'll be able to download it and use it for free. Um, the paid version will probably be on Etsy. You'll be able to download the code um, and it'll have uh, just really one difference. The free version is going to have all the features of this controller. The only thing is you're only going to be able to save two EEPROM spots. So right now on this controller, you can save 18 positions on EEPROM. The free version, you'll only be able to save two. The paid version, you'll be able to save all 18 positions. Also with the paid version of the code, I'll give you the 3D model for this controller, as well as a parts list of what I use to create this. Um, so you can kind of create exactly this if you'd like. Um, the paid version is really not going to be expensive. It's going to be pretty dang cheap. Again, because everything's going to be digital. It's going to be 3D model files, a maybe a, a PDF of how to assemble everything and um, how the code works, and then um, actually the the Arduino code itself to download. In no version am I going to provide any wiring information for this controller, uh, the base station. This is very dependent on what type of stepper motor you're using, what kind of relays you're using, what kind of power supply you're using. Um, you're going to have to mostly figure this out on your own. Uh, I'm going to leave this out. So that's kind of where the project's at. I hope to have the free version and the paid version available soon. Again, I, I can't give you a specific date because I just don't know. Um, but what I really want everyone to do, please... Get the free version first, build your controller on a breadboard, build your base station, build your turntable, connect all of them together and make sure they work. Make sure the controller works the way you want it to work. And then if you're happy with the way that the software is working, 
then please come pay for the um, upgrade of the software that has all 18 save positions and get the model for the controller. Um, I, I also want to tell everyone, just be honest, I can guarantee you there are still bugs in the software. I can't find them all. I don't have my full setup. So testing the auto reverser, for example, it, it's really hard to do without my full setup and I just don't have time to get everything out. So if you find any bugs, please let me know. I will try to update the free and the paid for version at the same time. I wouldn't squash any bugs in the paid version and, and leave the free version bug filled. It's not kind of how I work. Um, that being said, I have a full-time job and, and soon a child, so I'm not going to be able to be full-time tech support on this. Um, if you run into any issues, again, I'll try to help, but I might not be available. Uh, even if you get the, the paid for version, I can't really be technical support all the time. I'm going to be able to give you all the written information that I can. I'll also create some videos on setups uh, to, to help everyone hit the ground running. But then after that, I'm probably going to be mostly out of the scene. I just want to be honest with people. So that is where the project's currently going. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. Hopefully this makes everyone happy. I, I know that if I were in everyone else's shoes, I'd like a free version to test out before I, I bought the paid version. And again, this paid version is going to be pretty dang cheap anyway, so it's not going to be too terribly much money. Um, reach out if you have any questions or comments. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.